Welcome back to the Two Alphas Talk. And tonight we will discuss with you gun control in 2023, what you should pay attention to. Yeah, and we're back. <laughs> Live and yeah. direct. Live so, and direct. Yep, we're going to talk about that, but be first, we'll get down to business and get our sponsorship. I'll tell you about who we are and who does what and where. Yeah, go to SaberTeamTactical.com. Page comes up. Immediately go to the classes. Yep. Top right hand corner. main one is our private one-on-one class. You're getting a full uh, class if you were taking a class with 20 other people, but we get all the attention put on you. Go through an assessment, get you up to speed. We figure out where you are, and then we start moving and grooving. And it's a, a good opportunity to get in because not only is it for basic, but also if those, you guys out there want to advance, um, get in that quote unquote one second draw and shoot, we got you. Right. And, and the class is it's ideal for groups, uh, family. Um, or somebody you want to work with as a, a shooting partner or a friend. Yep. And also ladies. Uh, mm-hmm. Don't forget, just because we're males, uh, we do teach females. Yep. And, and we're and very sh- accepting and understanding. Uh, sometimes people are a little shy coming out. We work with you. We'll get you up. Right. And and children, too, up to the age uh, 12 years old. So mm-hmm. Starting at 12. Yeah, starting at 12. Right, <laughs> yeah, so no infants. Right. Up <laughs> no, two, like, no, new, no, new, no newborns coming out there with the uh, 1911. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> little cannon man. We have most of our classes. are. We have some uh, pending dates. We're still mm-hmm. debating on those dates, the classes. But we also, stu- too, have uh, some classes coming up this summer. I'm not even going to talk about those right now because they're way down the road. And uh, But as we get closer, we'll start pushing those classes. Uh, something I did do, I updated the laser engraving site. Um, so there's a few pictures up here, some things um, that I do. Um, if you follow the Instagram page and go to the laser engraving uh, on Instagram, you can see everything. If you need that, that copy of that page, there's a contact page on here. You can contact me if you got something you want me to work on or if you want to find out more information. Just hit that uh, contact sheet and hit send and it'll get to me all right yep and other than that let's dive into this so first thing we want to talk about is trusty rusty um youtube now youtube is uh it's a dirty operation and uh what it's doing is uh we're a new channel and so they're suppressing our stuff our last week's show, we had over, before I went to bed at 4 in the morning, we had over 85 views on our last show. And um, when I went to bed, I woke up the next morning about 11 o'clock, and I saw it was 58 views. I was like, was I tired or sleepy or was what was going on? So I, I blew it off. I didn't say anything. I was like, you know, maybe I misread. You know, mm-hmm. I was tired. And I saw the numbers backwards or something. So... Then later on the next day, it went from 58 to 60. Wow. And uh, it it went up to 60 and it stayed at 60 for almost two and a half days. Mm-hmm. And which was very unusual. We didn't get any more views. And uh, I was like, hmm, this is very interesting. So all of a sudden this morning, I got up and I looked at YouTube and I saw we had 33 views. So what's happening is YouTube is suppressing our channel and not allowing us to get the viewership the likes and keeping us down in in a small corner so our message is, is not getting out right. so um i don't know youtube you 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 liberal racist people on here man you got to stop you know what i'm saying <laughs> i mean we're, we're we're just trying to do our thing you know what I'm saying? And you guys are suppressing us because we're not saying the message that you guys want to hear. So in order to combat that, we've been combating it for the last couple months. We're on, we're on, we have a channel on Rumble. We have over 570 some uh, subscribers on there because it was hard to get subscribers even on YouTube uh, mm-hmm. for some reason or another. We can't 
it's very they're making it very difficult for us to try to grow this channel on youtube but we're growing on rumble and um so what i'm going to start doing is start sharing uh rumble on the facebook pages the linkedin pages and uh, uh other pages um our tumblr page so people will start migrating to rumble and uh screw youtube uh, because i know what's going to happen they're going to they're going to ban this channel i see it i see it happening if we can't grow the channel they, they're going to look at something they're going to strike us and they're going to try to ban the channel it's just a matter of time well there's um, a lot of the big name guys you know um that have been doing this for a long time and they're getting strikes for no reason mm -hmm. and they're getting strikes from things that happened years ago that they right. you know, it was legal back then so it's almost similar to what we'll talk about in the, in the upcoming about the braces it's the same thing it used to be legal now it's not legal it used to be legal now it's not legal and this can't you can't shoulder it you can't shoulder it same thing with these youtube channels um certain videos are getting strikes and removed um and i can't remember exactly who it was it was either uh um ak union or the other guys one of the two and they had like 200 videos taken down yeah they're going after guns and gadgets too yeah and uh they demonetize his page so mm -hmm. they're they're hitting I think a lot of them if there's a popular youtuber that's monetized that's a miracle yeah and they, they even demonetize, demonetize. Mm -hmm. they even demonetize my instagram page my saber team tactical page and i don't even say anything on there it's um it's you know we just post the, the business stuff and right. uh they demonetize that and i can't even uh share to my other business to that try to um get a um what do they call that when you collaborate yeah they yeah, took the collaboration even, out yeah i can't even collaborate anymore. no they took it out they took oh, that they off. took it out yeah oh, i tried it, it the other day and it was like oh shit, it's okay gone. okay but they definitely sent me a message saying they demonetized it so mm. i wasn't getting anything for me anyway it's like you know why you got <laughs> you know right. it's like what the hell you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and uh but it just put things in a higher bracket so people was able to see them a little bit better and um so with that, we want you guys to, on YouTube, you guys like and share the content. We're going to try to fight them. And uh, you guys on Rumble, please like and share. Hit that Rumble. Um, I think it's on that way. Hit that Rumble fist yeah, we're over there. And uh, subscribe to the channel on Rumble, too. So let's grow that channel on Rumble. Let's grow the channel on YouTube. And uh, let's make it, make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Right. And... Uh, that's the only way we can combat this. Um, they're just trying to stomp down a, a, a small channel. And uh, we know we got a lot of you supporters out there to listen to the show and like the content. We're going to try to keep it keep it going. Even if we're not here, we're going to be over there. So either, either or. And uh, so what's been happening lately is uh, the title is Gun Control in 2023. Um, we have the brace thing that's going on and the 120 days had started on monday so now it's like 100 what 116 days or something like that yeah and um for you to register or take your brace off you know what i'm saying so and then you <laughs> said something not, about destroying the gun you can't you got to make it unusable the brace right. part anyway yeah you're gonna make the brace part unusable uh i don't condone that um only thing i say just take the brace off throw it in the closet and uh if if this thing is not combated and stopped before the 120 days is going on uh i do not recommend you guys registering your thing your your uh your pistols because you're putting your stuff on a national database the next step keep an eye on california is going to be confiscation once one of these states do confiscation and they can get away with it the federal government is going to try it mm -hmm. and uh um, it's just a matter of time. Right now, they're testing the waters and seeing who's going to fight back, who's going to resist. And right. luckily, we've been having states been on the rise and resisting. And the Supreme Court has been on the American people's sides because they see what's happening. And uh, but how long is that going to hold out? You know what I'm saying? Because uh, as older we get. We're going to get this new generation is going to be in those positions and they're going to sell this country out. It's just a matter of time. 
Well, so, that's why we got to reach out to them, man, and and help uh, brainwash them in a positive way. Yeah, I don't know. You know, most of them they come back from the uh, indoctrination camp, college, and uh, they're a whole different beast. And you can't tell them jack nothing. They will not listen, bro. Um, yeah, well, you can't see this. That this is where I believe we dropped the ball. <coughs> you, we, mm -hmm. We're worried about this this group now, but we should have been working with them for a long time ago. Well, their parents ain't working with them, so why is it our job to work with them? Because we're Cause firearm people and other young people who are out there in firearms, we should be able to uh, reach out and talk to them. Yeah, so like, for like Omar, for example, right? You know, he's got a, a good head on his shoulders, and he understands the Second Amendment and how important it is. So. You know, people like that, um, Lamar, for the, for that matter. You know, guys that we have that are younger, the next generation. You know, and I, I uh, reach out and I would request that for everybody on here that's a little bit older, and there's a lot of y'all a little bit older, um, to reach out to somebody, you know, in their 30s. I'm talking about these 17 and hucklebucks standing on the corner. I'm talking about guys that are trying to make their way. You know, they've got some firearms. They're they're still trying to look, bring them in, bring them in the fold. Don't shun them because that's the next generation. That's the generation that'll be in a position where we are right now that are turned around to another 20 year old that maybe he would shake the cobwebs out and listen to reason. Mm -hmm. And that that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about we need to reach out instead of pointing fingers and say, that guy right there, he ain't. Can't. No, that guy right there, hey, let me talk to you. And then start explaining to him, you know, there's so much things, so many things, so many levels on this that we can go through um, that it's important for everyone. And everyone mm -hmm. has their own way of um, dealing with it personally, right? So that's what I'm talking about. Not just in a global, we got a, we all, like you and I, we come together, Second Amendment, and we got a lot of things that we can attach to. And then there's little little pieces that you tell, we, we, I listen when I'm talking to you, and I'm like, wow, it's something that's important to you that may be on the threshold for me, but it's not that important. But then as I talk to you, I realize how much more that is. it is important. Mm-hmm. That's what we got to do. Yeah, I just guys. yeah, I just get on the political side and I look at it from a hope, you know, from a I look at it from a national and a state level. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people and that and I think that's my problem when I do talk to a younger person because they can't comprehend that because they're living in their own little world. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And you gotta so, reach them where you can. Yeah. So um for me to try to talk to a younger person is virtually impossible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I mean, you know, <laughs> You're still talking about uh, Dick Van Dyke and and uh, Dean Martin and <laughs> you know Bill Cosby. He's real funny. That guy, that Bill Cosby. He's a real. Well, why you why you pick all the yeah Bill Cosby? You could have yeah. said uh, Sammy Davis Jr. Yeah, he's a he's Sammy a hoot. Davis, Sammy Davis Jr. was a, oh, was a quick draw shooter. You know, See? so he was he was a Second that, Amendment. That's guy. your frame I mean. of reference, man. You, you know, <laughs> Dean Martin and and Dick Van Dyke and I did watch the Dean Jerry Martin Lewis. show. That was actually a good show. Tom yeah, Jones. I know. Dean, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta, you gotta get into modern times. You gotta start right. talking about, you know, uh, what's his name, Michael Michael B. Jordan. That's that's the actor, yeah. not the basketball player. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, he's making a good movie just coming out. He made the the sequel to Rainbow Six, and so Rainbow Six is being filmed. I read that book, um, and it's excellent. Uh, if you, I do recommend anybody who wants to read a good book about uh, special operations. That is a good fantasy book that you can read about. Mm -hmm. And uh, see, you could reach out. You got you. you it's some modern that that book was written yeah. in the '90s, but you still yeah, you know, it's just closer than Dick Van Dyke. Right, right. Well, I I read nonfiction books and I read yeah. war books, so mm -hmm. uh, tactics and things of that nature. But, and there's uh, a lot of guys, a lot of young guys that do that. Omar is well versed in, you know, the science fiction as well as um, uh, historical data. I know we've seen him in action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've seen him crush some dreams. You know, yeah. <laughs> make make people uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, you just yeah, telling the, goes, telling the truth. We seen we seen we seen him in action crush a guy, and the guy went and sat down and ate a biscuit. <laughs> yep, literally. <laughs> like, I am not even here anymore. <laughs> nope, I don't want. He didn't want to be here no more. He didn't want none. I, nope. I just laughed. You know, exactly. Uh, it's funny. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, but uh, yeah, like uh, for instance, in the state of Georgia, we have some some of these whack jobs. And what I think it is, they think the United States is at their uh, at its weakest moment right now since the mm. uh, race ruling is in. They think 
the federal government has an upper hand on actually finally doing something about AR-15s and or guns itself. And they all know what this gun race deal is. It's the next steps towards confiscation. And um, so all of a sudden there's 116 anti-gun groups are lobbying to push for gun control in just about every major state that has um uh that are pro guns right and um they're not trying to push it in like california or new jersey all those other places they're those places have their own problems of their own mm -hmm. and uh uh, but they're trying to push it in like Texas. They're trying to push it here in Georgia. Uh, we're seeing it happening in Tennessee, even. And uh, they're trying to push these gun control uh, bills through, even when you have a Republican House and a Republican Senate in that state, which is, makes it even more ridiculous because it's not even going to go to the floor. But you do have rhino Republicans who support in some of these bills, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, so you're like, OK, what's what's going on here? So what I th what me and Al did talk about, what we think is going on is we think they're going to push all these bills through and have them there on ready to go and say when the next mass shooting happen, they're going to use that to push uh those gun control bills for the um uh, republican and the democrats to get get a sob story because it's the next one's probably gonna really get them it's gonna be some children mm -hmm. and that's usually gonna get them because remember uh sandy hook that's what got them all them going the edge. push them over the edge and they're gonna be like we got these bills right here it's time for us to do something about gun control let's ban them yep you know they don't want those guns to be grandfathered. They want you to turn them in. They want them banned, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, and this is that, not a short term. They're not looking no. at short term. No, you, this is permanent. You, you think about this. Uh, when Clinton did the confiscation or the ban in in, in uh, 94. Yeah, the assault weapon ban. Yeah, yeah, he left the back door on that. Well, and they didn't the, know the what they were doing. Right. They well, no. I think they did. No. They're not stupid. No, they, no, they didn't. Uh, they, I no read way. the bill back then. Me and, too. I read uh, the bill back then, and I read. You got to look at what some of the um, uh, big think tank people think now. There's like, there's no way that they could have done this irresponsibly. There's no they way that did they did not know about guns the way they do today. They didn't yes, they have did. the lawyers. They're not idiots. To, These no, guys are they're idiots. idiots, bro. They're no. idiots. Mm -mm. No, these dudes are the, some of the best brains that we have in, in on this in this country on this continent. They're not idiots. They mm -hmm. did that on purpose. They left that door open because it would ease it in, and it's like a test period. Oh, now, this is what I'm saying to you. They're easing uh -huh, it in. So Ten this was, years. That, that was the frog in the pot. Ten years. That was and the they, frog and in the it, pot, and it, and it was up let it to, sunset. We we'll go to sunset. Mm -hmm. But think about this. They now have stats to show how the crime dropped during that time. And guess what? It, that part didn't come through. Now, this was the hypothesis was to say that when all guns are gone, the crimes are going to drop. Um, murder is going to drop and all. It didn't happen. So right. when it didn't happen, now they're like, what do we do? That's gone back at that time. It's reversed. We move forward. As we move forward, they're going to come up again. You notice they do not promote the the gun ban that we had in this country before. Why mm -hmm. not? Because it didn't work. So it anybody work. that goes back and look at the stats, the facts, yeah. not just one one it, person. It actually, got, person. Worse. It actually it, got worse. It actually got worse. It got worse. Crime went yeah. up, and there were more mm -hmm. illegal guns. Right. See, so that's why they want to start a, a new this time around. Mm -hmm. That's where we. That's where we are. It, right. it, the, you can hear it every once in a while if you listen to so many people who are versed and they have arguments and they talk about 94 it's very limited because if you go deep into it it will blow up the anti-gun argument mm -hmm. well, the, well the funny thing about it is the um, it's like California itself It's mm -hmm. uh, California has the harshest uh, gun laws in the United States they're more harsher than New York mm -hmm. and so they have the highest uh, murder rate with firearms, mm -hmm. you know, and they have the harshest uh, 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 restriction on firearms. Right. So 
that's clearly if they were so smart. See, this is not about guns. If they were so smart, they would say, OK, it's not if that rule is not working. Let's free them up and see what happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But see, that's not it. What they're going to do, they're going to take another a drastic measure and say, well, if we get rid of them totally, you know, then we won't have that problem. Right. And that's the next step they're going to go to. Well, and the governor's trying to figure out how to do it. For the most you know? part, guns in Chicago are uh, illegal. Mm -hmm. Right. And same thing as you would call the restrictive in um, what you would call California. it in California. But mm -hmm. think about um, what's the other one? Uh, New York. Mm -hmm. Technically, guns are up until the Supreme Court ruling just recently. Guns are illegal there. Illegal. Right. Yeah, but yet, you couldn't even. You but yeah, people even. dying from gunshots. Right. Right. So people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like how are people getting murdered by guns and right. guns are illegal. It, 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 and that's my point. Yeah. Is that it can never be it. it the only people. Good. No, go ahead. Go no, ahead. Because when because we always hear a good guy with a gun, right? And that if somebody, if you have restrictions on gun ownership, you're not going to have a good guy with a gun. No, because good because guys I'll, don't. Good guys follow the law, right? And that's exactly what I was going to say. See, we was thinking alike. That's why I stopped. Because I was going to say the same thing. Mm -hmm. The only people who are going to follow the law is the honest citizen right crooks are not going to follow the law when they say okay everybody turn them in the crooks are going to be like well i got this stolen gun back two years ago and i'm just going to keep it mm -hmm. and i'm just going to hang on to it so when the fool come by i'm a smoking right. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but the average american is going to be like well i'm not going to keep this because they said they're going to charge me with a felony put me in jail for 10 years yep. people who are concerned about their record about right their yeah. reputation and their record mm -hmm. and you know and their wealth so there's gonna be like nah, i'm just gonna go ahead and turn it in now we may have some radicals that's gonna be out there and be like oh screw them you don't know what i got you don't know what i got right. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but but remember this guys what's happening with the atf the atf is probing all the states and firearms um dealers to turn in their 4473s they have to send those 4473s in we just lost al real quick and uh he'll be back shortly and uh i think he had to go take a restroom break nope, <laughs> it was you you froze bro <laughs> See, Man, i froze he modern said, I technology froze. Okay. yeah i guess it looked the same with both i said are you still there are you okay okay it, Yep, we got yeah, right where yeah. you said something well, we, about uh, we, the bracing, and it was like, boop. yeah, I was saying the brace itself is, um, what is it? The brace is 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 used as a tool to the same way that you was talking about when they did the uh, the, the the assault bill. Mm -hmm. This brace, see what didn't happen before when you had the bump stocks, right? The bump stocks supposed to disappear. Well, apparently, the Supreme Court said they're good, so right. now they're being sold again. Mm -hmm. So, well, what about uh, if you had one and you destroyed it? Do you think the government stupid. will pay, pay for it? Help no, them? you're stupid. You and so. uh, so, <laughs> and uh, and so, but now they're doing the same thing with the braces and see, they're, they're this is all testing, they're testing the waters and see if who's going to push back it, the frog in the pot. You know, so mm -hmm. if you're not going to push back, you're not going to push back. They're going to say, well, we take an inch, we take a mile. So look, look with the brace. Look at them. They took an inch by saying the brace is an NFA item. If you have it on your firearm, that is a felony. If you have it on your firearm, you must comply and put in for a national SBR. It's no $200 stamp. And now we have this. Now, this is an item that has no serial number on it. So how are you going to tell me to register an item that's not serial number, that's not illegal to buy? And so now, once, the only thing you have to do, they didn't tell you, but they're telling you in a roundabout way, but they're really not really emphasizing to say, hey, just take it off. Mm -hmm. Just like they did with the bump stocks. They told everybody, just take them off, destroy them. They didn't tell people to register that as an NFA item. They didn't tell everybody we're going to give you a free tax stamp. They said, take it off because you're not allowed to have, what, a machine gun, right? right? 
So this is totally, you know, it's almost in the same theory. It doesn't make the, the weapon shooting it any better, any farther. It right. doesn't enhance it at all. So it's just a cosmetic feature, mm -hmm. you know, but. Yeah, because like I, I said before, if you take that um, or that stock that's on there, the buffer tube is basically what it is. You can use that without a full stock. And mm -hmm. what you're saying. It, it, this, and the craziest thing is the same amount of contact that you get on your shoulder with the quote unquote brace, you get that same contact with <coughs> just the, the buffer tube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can cheek the buffer tube mm -hmm. and do the same thing. No, not even cheek it. You can press that buffer tube in your shoulder. But I, you I'm, not, I'm not talking about legal or not. I'm, no, I'm not talking about legal. I'm not talking yeah. about who's watching or anything like that. I'm just saying as far as this much of the buffer pad, of the uh, stock, on any stock on a gun is what touches your shoulder. Mm -hmm. This much. It's the same di right. diameter for the most part as even a, a commercial or mil spec buffer tube. So mm -hmm. if you put that much on your shoulder, it doesn't, you know, when I see people and they have the entire uh, stock on their shoulder, I know you can't shoot. Because it, it, one, it either it's too low or it's too high, whichever way, whichever direction you're going. So uh, oh, I break the difference. I learned that's how I. Well, I you, but, but I'm saying the actual part, it's like your car tire. <laughs> the pad on your the tire is this big, right? right. Well, this yeah. much I know what touches you're saying. the ground. So you, when you, you when you press that into your shoulder, the bottom is not the part that's touching; it's the top. So if no, you don't it, have if you don't have the the fin, let's call it the fin on the uh, stock, mm -hmm. it's still effective if that tube is just in your shoulder. Right, because yeah, you suppose to, yeah, because it's got mm -hmm. a brace in that little cut right here, and right. Uh, yeah, and that's where you know for us back in the day when we wore body armor, mm -hmm. sometime when we. Um, uh, when you went to go qualify because you was wearing uh, tack gear and all that stuff, mm -hmm. I would never put my uh, rifle on my tack gear. I would rip it away from my shoulder and stick my rifle in to qualify. Right. But when I, I shot in real life, I didn't care where the round went because it was. Yeah, I'm shooting a lot of them, right? But if I'm trying to qualify, I made sure it was touching my skin, mm -hmm. so I knew I had a perfect spot. Because you couldn't qualify, because right. it throws your whole sight picture and everything off. Mm -hmm. Early you know on, saying? we had those um, short stock rifle, short stock shotguns, and mm -hmm. that's what I and you know being an instructor, the first thing that I do is use it because I'm going to have to show somebody else how to use it. So I'm using it, especially somebody that's smaller. And that was a thing that I recognized. Like, okay, even though it's so much shorter and the stock is normal stock is this big, now I'm using one this big. It, I didn't need to hump on it. You know what I mean? I, di I didn't have to get all up on it. It was just right here. <laughs> it was just right here. Yeah, you, you know? do see some people. I, I mean, I have, I, yeah, I know. That's what I, I have, talk about. Not I not have, necessarily the full use of it, but I see I, people who hoard yeah, it. The chicken, the chicken wing. Yes, yes. The chicken wing. Exactly. It's like, why your elbow way up here yep. and you, you got your head down here like and this? And then they shoot. tell you how to, yeah. and they start telling you how their uncle was, uh, you know, in the army. He taught him this. Yeah, he was in the army. Uh, Maybe not even uh, comfortable. World War I mean, II. it should be tucked in and, you know, mm -hmm. right in the shoulder and tucked in. Your head should be almost. Straight up, right? You know, bring and, the gun uh, to your face, not your face to the yeah, gun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it'd be all like this and carrying mm -hmm. on. It's be it'd be weird, right? You it's know, like a monkey playing and then with they a football. Why they don't yeah, and you right. can take their rifle and hit three rounds into the bullseye. You give it back to them, and they hit three rounds cyberspace in somebody else's bullseye. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And and the thing is, like when and when we and do assessments, rifle. sometimes I watch and I don't say anything. I was, you know, this is trying to figure out where this person, uh, where they are right now. So mm -hmm. you give it to them and then you see them, you know, mount the gun in such a way where the rifle is so low that they have to bring their head all the way down. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got we got the first lesson, you know, now we, we're right. just going to, how to present the right. firearm, how we're going to put, you know, mount this uh, rifle in your shoulder. Because the, I think a lot of times it's the perception and they watch television and they see these guys and there's a lot of bad, you know, there's a lot of good God. coming out nowadays. There's a lot of bad gun handling on, on Hollywood. Yeah, well, now you look at every show, there's all women who are uh, being the most uh, dominant and they, they're they they're the new, I mean, the guys are sitting there whimpering in the corners. <sighs> now they, and all man, the women. I've seen some of the, and I know part of it is physiological where it's just the way that they're made 
but other parts, when I see somebody and if this was the the rear of the firearm and they're mm-hmm. holding it this far low, but mm-hmm. yet they're they're dropping everybody, you know, damn well they should yeah, all yeah. of that. And, and right. come on, man, you saw that far yeah. away from the tang. Yeah. And yeah. And, uh, and the other one that's this new one. Um, I heard it on the movie the other night. The guy said, uh, "Get get close to the beaver tail." Like, wow. Get close to the beaver tail. You know the beaver tail. <laughs> <laughs> he said the so beaver like tail. Cycle, you get that. You exactly. Get that slide and smack right in the, right smack you in like, the wow. eyes. Wow. Oh my to get god. Get close to the beaver tail. tail. Yep. Yeah. I okay. said, boy, I don't, that that's not the same tail you think it is. <laughs> well, most of these guys, they will not hire a uh, professional firearms instructor to go out there and help them. And you can tell the shows that do it. And right. A lot of a lot of movies do do it, mm-hmm. but a lot of these these TV shows they will not put that in the budget. They right. figure they figure the guy who knows their weapons guys who's the guy who's going to be showing them. Who's never you done know? anything in military or no. law enforcement? No, they yep. just yeah. Prime example of that is that cat that's up for murder charges right now. You mm-hmm. know, the, the girl and, he and had. She was she, she was so inex- inexperienced. It was unbelievable. Mm-hmm. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's like, uh, and she, not only that, but she was, I think she was barely eligible, age eligible to even handle those firearms. Right. Well, she was she like had 21. Pink she had pink hair. Oh, so that's that tell you a lot. lot. That tells yeah. you a lot right there. Yeah. Had no idea what a gun was. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, but her daddy had taught her and she was an apprentice to him. And I think that he let her go too soon. He should have, he, you know, she, she needed a few more months. Oh, no, yeah, that was her way to get into the business. Somebody yeah. rubbing shoulders to rub shoulders yep. to get her that, into the business yeah. to work her way up. Yep. That's how they do. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Guys like us, we that never happens to us. Mm-hmm. You know, even though we got all this knowledge, it's just we got too much knowledge and they can't control us or whatever. And and a lot of times it's intimidation in, in student including students. Where, you know, I've dealt with a, a couple of people who they just you gotta break them down. Like, you know, why are we arguing? You, 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 everything that I say to you, you're going opposite, but yet you paid me to be here. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Something's right. Up. Something's right. Up, you know, and, and we see it a lot on, um, on the social media between the, the two of us. We've been through so many damn battles and war over yeah. stuff that, you know, you, you're debating us and you're charging at us and you're coming at us with this stuff. And yet we can validate everything from flashlights on damn guns to calling mass lights to the slings. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, man. I mean, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. How much money do you make off of people buying flashlights from you? How many, how many right. slings have you sold this year? Because right. you're arguing over something, and if you're getting paid for it, I can understand. But if you're just arguing it based on principle, you're you're nope. not a you're not a nice person. I'm gonna basically say like, what Al is hey, trying to say. Can I talk? Yeah, can I talk like I normally talk? Or I gotta still talk like this. Oh, that was, Rumble's normal, right? Because yeah, Rumble's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. fucking fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're gonna get his flag. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, uh, what Al is trying to say is people want to argue with us over equipment mm-hmm. and not tactics. Right. Argue over tactics, but they have the nerd that don't want to argue over equipment and says, if you don't use a certain equipment, you're going to cause people to lose their lives. Right. And they're going on uh, data, data, really? data from military people. And we don't teach military. We can. Yeah. We just we yeah. teach mostly civilians. So when you go to military data, and even some of you guys out there that argue law enforcement data, I don't have a, a duty or I'm well, not duty bound to look, stay or sworn to anything. Well, we look at the two wars that we had, Vietnam and Afghanistan and Iraq. You got mm-hmm. people out there fighting in slippers. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> with, right. with the AKs and, and mm-hmm. the satchel bag. And, and, and they, pushing and repelling them, the mightiest nation in the world. Right. So... Right. It happens, you know. Mm-hmm. You can. It's it's it has nothing to do with equipment. It has something nope. to do with called will. Will. You, thank you. Yeah. You got that, the that's what I. Fight. That's what I'm thank nervous about all the time. Is that yeah. you know we got all these fancy doodads called Glocks and uh, 40, 1911s and you know name brand guns, and then some dude comes along with a raggedy ass Saturday night special called a High Peasy, and mm-hmm. wins you it smoke all. You. Yep, you takes smoke it all. Why ain't he got smoke me? He could smoke you too. I ain't seen. I ain't talking about you. I'm you said saying smoke you. Smoke. You said smoke you. 
And I'm you. I'm the only you over here. I'm trying to not to say the word with a K. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's not a big deal, I can probably say it. But you know, it's just trying to be a little sensitive to you fanboys out here. And uh, because most of you fanboys are going to be automatically, I know uh, a majority of you guys are going to be registering your pistols. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. You're already doing it. You're probably even registering before 120 days started. Yeah, I'm posted. Yeah. One yeah. guy posted on Facebook that I yeah. follow or whatever they call it on that, and he posted that he got his. I think he said that what you or said earlier. He got my two hundred dollar. I got my two hundred dollars back from the um, feds or something like that. Being funny, and then when he showed it, he actually registered the brace, mm-hmm. and he was encouraging other people to do the same. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's easy. It's it's easy. See, it's you know that's how 1943 started. Now we see how that man with that mustache right here—that's how he got in control. Because we got weak people in the United States that went 36. along. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Yeah, you said forty-three. Oh yeah, that's when it ended. I'm sorry. Right. And uh, yeah, started in thirty-six. So that's how <laughs> we got weak people in the United States that are willing to roll over, and they're saying. There's for the Constitution, they're for America, for a Second Amendment. But as mm-hmm. soon as somebody opposed the Second Amendment or the Constitution, the first thing you want to do is roll over. All mm-hmm. you guys who are acting like you guys are hardcore, you got a, uh, the, what is that snake with the thing? Don't tread on me and all that stuff. And you take it off. If you register with your brace right now under this rule, take your patriotic stuff off your shirt your car, everywhere else, because you're not patriotic. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yep. You know, it's funny. Tonight, um, we went to dinner, and while we were at dinner, my wife was playing a game with my son, and we were basically reading questions from uh, the citizen test. And mm-hmm. one of those questions she asked was, um, who does your senator represent? And the answer was really, really, we like, to. put right in here. Put, it, there does, it doesn't matter. The senator represents the people. Yeah, but you got doesn't two. Ma- though. Doesn't matter, it, right? But I'm saying, yeah. it, but your senator yeah. represents the people, regardless well, of what, well, what, 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 whether they vote red or blue, whether they like the red team down. or the blue let team. Break, let me break it down, bro. But it was, it was a it. wonderful thing. I'm bringing, I know you gonna bring them. You wasn't at you wasn't at dinner with us. I know I wasn't at the dinner. I know I didn't have no chicken and chicken and waffles. You yeah, know, filet mignon, by the way. And okay, that's cargo. All right, all right. It was a rare or medium. Rare. <laughs> oh my god! Get the full flavor. Uh, nope. Um, so you get, we got two senators. One is for the people in the state, and the other one represents the state. And it's the same with the sen- House member, and the, they represent one represent the people, then the other one represents the state. So that's that's. But they still, as the one who represent the on the national level, they are supposed to represent the state, the people of the state. But they're usually representing their self-interest. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, because once they get to that national level, it's so much money thrown at them that it's hard to keep control. They'll do opposite of what the state is wanting them to do. We've seen it, you know? And uh, we see it here even in our state, you know? And uh, it's ridiculous. Also, too, uh, what's getting ready to happen... um, I think it, I didn't check on it, but I think it might have passed today. Uh, Florida is, I think this became another constitutional state. Uh, I have to look constitutional it up. Constitutional carry? Constitutional carry state. They're supposed to have voted on it today. And um, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so um, I don't know if that passed today or. Or what? Um, if it no. does pass, that will be um, the 26th state in the, in the union that has constitutional care and is growing. Let's continue to push these other states to do the same, and uh, uh, that is a uh, that's the way we need to go. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, there's also a listing of 10 top 10 states who has the most guns. Texas and Florida uh, are the number two, and Georgia, the state we're in, we're number six. So um, uh, I think California even beat us with more guns than what we have. And um, 
what to what's telling in California because you know California was a uh, was a free state at one time and it was pro guns and all those guns they remember they grandfathered every single one of those guns and so it was a, California used to be a huge uh, gun state and um, when I lived there I had a lot of guns and I've seen a lot of people with a lot of guns and guns were everywhere but now it's, uh, it's totally the opposite so, so what what happened. What happened? Democrats. Mm -hmm. Democrats. That's what happened. Once, um, let's see, once uh, Ronald Reagan left, um, who came in after Ronald Reagan? Was it uh, uh, Governor Brown? And he started a lot of the regulations, started coming in with guns. Um, we didn't um, see any change in the state until I think it was after... After the 80s, that's when uh, in the 90s, in the first part of the 90s, uh, that's when gun control was starting to come. There was a lot of talk of gun control in the state and a lot of um, gun stores, the old timers, they saw it coming. So they were like, we're, we're getting out of business. Mm. And a lot of the uh, new guys at the gun show, gun stores and gun shows, they all were saying, oh, that never happened. Here and I was like, it's gonna happen, and uh, and when I left the state, right after I left in 1998, that's when it actually happened. I left the state in '94, but so, it was it was eroding before that. Oh, it was eroding before, but it was slow. It was very slow. It was a slow moving, okay. slow turning. But that, that's what, what I the reason why I yeah. brought that up is that's the same yeah. thing that I see happening now. Is that this, mm -hmm. even though '94 has been a, a long time ago there's still a galvanized effort that that wants to get to a point where it's another ban or confiscation right you remember the was a 1994 i think it was a shootout i think that was in 94 where the guys went to that bank robbery the lapd and um mm, the two of those two guys wearing all kind of body armor and yeah. all over the face and the head there yeah they outgunned the uh, mm -hmm. los angeles police uh when they went they went to a gun store called turner guns who had pallets and pallets of ammunition and stuff sitting in there and it was a great store to go in it was a candy store for men and uh they went in and grabbed ar-15s off the shelf and went out there and fought those guys mm -hmm. and uh that was the turning point for california saying the citizens have more firearms um uh, than the police do. Yeah, so the agencies yeah. are still using uh, revolvers at that time. Yeah, still using revolvers. So mm -hmm. that's what changed California. Um, that was the start of it, the change of it. Because right after that, the week started uh, AKs. We no longer can have AKs. That's when the Mac 90s came out. What they look like the uh, Planet of the Apes. Uh, oh, thumb yeah. Thumb the thumb yeah, Mac about. 90s. Mac 90s came out. They came out from China, and uh, so they tried to combat what California was trying to do because you couldn't have AKs anymore, or you couldn't have that type of pistol grip stock. Right. And uh, that, but they said everybody who already have them, you can continue to own them. You just can't buy any more of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it just started going downhill from there. You know what I'm saying? Then they imposed the. Um, was it the uh 15 day waiting period you mm -hmm. had to wait and uh to buy firearms um and um so that was another thing it was 15 day wait not only for rifle for pistols but it was for shotguns and rifles too you had to wait so you know and uh then right after that that's when i was like you know i'm done with this i, I gotta get out of here so can't come back but that's the same thing they're trying to do in California. It's the same thing they're trying to do in the whole nation. If you guys follow what's going on, what happened in Illinois, immediately what happened in Illinois were the uh, banning of all firearms, sales, everything. This, he followed the same model that Canada did. And um, but see, Canada don't have a constitution. We have a constitution. And so when they tried to do that in that state of Illinois, the whole state rebelled and mm. uh, so everybody said it wasn't enforced like the lawsuits hit the supreme court said this is totally against second amendment and as soon as he did that the next state that did it was michigan Whitmer, 
Governor Whitmer. She did the exact same bill that he did in her state. Now, I haven't heard anything on what was going on there because that state has already been destroyed because it's like California. And so now I'm waiting on California to do the same bill. But I think he's hesitating because the Supreme Court is stepping into Illinois and possibility Michigan and New York. So he don't want to get embarrassed, you know. Right. So, but if he, if those states would have got away with that, California would have been the next third state that would have actually done it. So I still don't put it past them. They're trying to figure out how to do it and get around the Second Amendment, you know. But they know mm -hmm. that if it was up to each state to have the Second Amendment, they probably would have abolished the Second Amendment in that state. You know. Oh so, yeah, no yeah. doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no doubt. And, and the thing you know, you hear people all the time talking about changes need to be made and things like that. And it's like, okay, how are you going to defend yourself? And I'm not Correct. talking about, you know, one of the bigger things um, from historical perspective is a tyrannical government, but more so every day is just tyrannical people. Exactly. And on top of yeah. that, the, yeah. um, you don't have enough police officers in the, in the country to, to even hold back most of these protests and riots that occur. How the right. hell do you think the everyday criminal um, is just running rampant out here? Right. And not every cop is going to come in and uh, help you in a mass shooting. Mm -hmm. We're already seeing evidence of that. A lot, yep. a lot of them think their lives are more important than your lives. So they're mm -hmm. not going to risk. And, and even children. And even children. Yeah, even children. You know, yeah. you had two cases. Um, I remember the Uvalde one, but there was one before that. And uh, the, the cop hid behind the wall. And they got him on camera not going in. And, mm -hmm. and yet, clearly, you can hear gunshots sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, yeah. So you don't know what people are made of until it's time to to get out there and do it. Yep. So um, you can't put your life in somebody else's hands. It's best mm -hmm. to take care, preserve your own life. You know, be your own first responder. Yeah, be your own first responder. Um, that's 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 the only thing I can say, man. Uh, uh so. Before this show airs aired tonight, um, I well uh, it aired at eight thirty. We re aired the vault um, show, the twenty four minute show aired just before this show. So mm -hmm. please go back, go to the channel. If you didn't get a notice to watch it, uh, because it's going to premiere just like this show, and watch it and uh, throw some lights and uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, it's going to air on. Um, Eastern 8.30 Eastern Standard Time Saturday um, on YouTube and Rumble and it's going to premiere on both at the same time so they can stop one channel but they can't stop the other right. you know? mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's a good thing we did uh, it's a good show we did showing the vault and what we did uh, the reason we re-airing re it because the show um when we aired the show live, it aired fine. But when we went to uh, re-air the show, it, we noticed the show was uh, a stop show. And uh, people really didn't get to enjoy it, even though we had 85 people viewed it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The tube, you know? <laughs> and, uh, rags. Yeah. I mean, we probably, we probably had over 150 views on that show. Mm -hmm. you know? Back and forth. And yeah. then it gets, uh, you know, limited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They throttle on their back. That's what they're doing. And uh, so we just got to build up our viewership on uh, on Rumble and get a lot more likes and um, uh, shares and uh, get more people to respond and ask questions. Um, in the future, we're going to be doing a lot more of those shows where we're going out on location and mm -hmm. uh, uh doing those shows um i would like to do them in um like we did before but i like to air it separately you know what i'm saying instead of inside the show uh, right so it'd be much better much smoother uh un unless we can figure out the bugs and do some testing and see if we can figure out the bugs you know so mm -hmm. but it, it it worked out both ways it, it mm -hmm. mean, like you said if we can get it to where we can um make it work and we can mm -hmm. do it again the same way. If not, right. it stands alone. Yeah, it stands alone. Right. So to be like, a, yeah, a, a standalone show. But we was uh, worried about 
people selling content and all that other good stuff. So, but um, we just have to go with the flow and try to work around YouTube at this point. You know, mm-hmm. yep. yeah, yeah. But I did the same thing. It stop motion on YouTube and Rumble, so it had something to do with our servers capturing the show, and uh, that's something that needs to be addressed. But uh, we'll figure it out. But uh, what we do have to say, you know, think about don't register in your pistols. <laughs> you know, hang on, wait for these lawsuits to go through. You know, what I'm saying. If you missed 120 days, you miss it. So what? Right. Just take the brace off, people. That's all you got to mm-hmm. do. It's not a big deal. Nope. You can still own an AR pistol. And what, so people don't like it, but I'm going to tell you like it is. It's always been a loophole. It's always been a, a get around. It, it was a way to get around having uh, the SBR. And if you want a short barrel rifle, then I said, now, mind you, I will understand and will agree that the Fed said it was legal. And then they said it wasn't. And then they said mm-hmm. it's again back to illegal. So mm-hmm. it was always a workaround to not pay the, the tax uh, stamp. That's so why, yeah, yeah. But they said it was legal. So mm-hmm. by and then they changed it's their legal mind. At one time, then you mm-hmm. end up selling 40 million devices yep. to the general public. And now and you're going to say. They probably looked up and saw that number that you said and said 40 mm-hmm. million times 200. Oh, hell no. It's illegal again. <laughs> right. That's yeah. They was like this way too many guns out here. Too many yeah. rifles. Yeah, we we though, we're not getting our cut on. Even though none of them been used in none, so-called mass not shootings. One. Yeah. Now look, now the check reduction this out. and calling them illegal will do nothing towards crime. No. So p- 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 send it, honest people in jail. Mm-hmm. You know, that don't take them off. But take them off if the 120 days go past. Just take it off. That's all you gotta do. Don't yeah. be showing your pictures on Instagram, Facebook of your brace don't even do it right now mm-hmm. stop doing it go back delete the old ones because what's going to happen your Karen's and your rat finks are going to be turning you guys into the atf yep. and the, the atf is going to come to your door okay uh don't be going to the gun range with those 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 firearms don't be trying to move them out of state because you're going to get one of these overzealous guys who's an anti-gun police officer and they're mm-hmm. going to see that and they're going to book you and seize everything you have because they're going to hit you with a felony. And if you move that firearm across state lines without it being uh, an SBR and not having a state application to have an SBR in that state, you hit being hit with uh, uh, almost like trafficking. Yeah. So a commerce, you're being hit with a commerce law, which is a double felony on top of the felony. <laughs> You will not be able to own a toothpick <laughs> as a weapon. So, yep. and you're going to do some time. So, be careful of this, you know, and uh, just keep abreast and watch some of these shows. A lot of these shows, be very particular about some of these shows because some of these guys are spitting false information and mm-hmm. uh, they're just <laughs> doing it for like reviews. You know, but when we saw just recently with that guy, he put all kind of stuff together. It was mm-hmm. like, oh my goodness, they're, really? they're just making stuff up at this point. Yeah, you know, I don't know why they're doing it. You know, but it, but overall, when they come back at the end, they say, "Well, just go ahead and register." It's like, don't register. Take right. the brace off. Exactly. That's what we're telling you to do. Take the brace off until these lawsuits go through. The 120 days is over. And you go from there. And you figure it out. Deal with it as it it comes along. Right. This is not rocket science. There's nothing to panic over. You're not going to be felons. You're not going to be arrested. You can still own an AR pistol. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? So Mm -hmm. uh, if you travel out of state and you're taking classes, I don't know why you're taking classes with with an AR pistol anyway. You should be taking classes with an AR-15 with a 16-inch barrel if you're taking rifle classes. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because some of those classes have you shooting long-distance ranges. So I don't know why you're running around with a 7.5-inch barrel or a 10.5-inch barrel taking classes. That doesn't make any sense. Because they have no idea. Right. Yeah, they have no idea. So, um, uh, They you know. did it for the gram. Yeah, they did it for the gram. Yeah, no pictures. Take it off the internet. Stop telling your neighbors you have it. Don't be showing people you have it. 
Don't be showing people where it's at because that same person is going to turn you in. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because it, if if this 120 days don't go, I guarantee you they're going to be offering rewards to people to turn people in. Good and, citizens. Uh, yeah, good citizens. Mm -hmm. In a, in a uh, German accent. Exactly. <laughs> good yeah. citizens. Turning right. Turning their fellow citizens. Right. Turning turn in, turn in the, uh, those evildoers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we can uh, prosecute them. And they will. Yeah. So, uh, and people you that hate you. They will. Low People don't hanging like it. Fruit. They will. Easy yeah. pickings. So don't be stupid. Um, let's see what else. Um, ammunition prices are going down. If you guys have been noticing mm -hmm. uh, online and at still the not where they should be, but it's um, better than where it was. They're down to nine millimeter. I saw just a few minutes ago was where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I just saw it. Uh, two ninety nine, two twenty nine ninety nine a case. That's what twenty four cents a box, something like that. Twenty four cents a bullet, you mean? A bullet, twenty four cents a bullet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that's twenty. No, that's twenty. Twenty. Uh, twenty. Uh, that's thirty. Twenty three cents. Twenty three cents a bullet. Twenty three cents. I yeah, remember. 23 cents a bullet. I'm, I'm going to be that old guy. You can call me a FUD. You can call me a goober, a goomer, a comer, whatever the hell they call it. Yeah, you're now. trying to get it down to 14 cents I'm a getting bullet. it back that's to not, 15 cents, bro. Yeah, that's not happening, dude. I'll, I'll settle for 15. I mean, yeah. a, 199 for a 1,000 rounds is plenty enough for the for uh, their price. That's what it used to cost. I remember. Yep. Yeah. Then it jumped up to two-something. Two-something, two... 50 was five, five, six, a thousand rounds. Yeah, exactly. You know? and, yeah. and back then, you can get steel cased Tula for a thousand for 185 mm -hmm. AK ammunition. Right. You, right now, AK ammunition and 223 and 556 five, are the same price. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make any sense. That's one because... gun is good and the other one is okay. You pick which one you want. But the one that's good, the bullets were cheap and now they're mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. Say it like that. Right. I know, I know a lot of AR people are very soft and they they the words affect them. So I don't want right, to right. affect them with by words. All right, not affect them, offend them. <laughs> that too. You know you know what I see? I see a lot of scorpions being sold. <laughs> the nine millimeter? No, uh yeah, the nine millimeter mm -hmm. and the uh yeah, uh, yeah, all scorpions are nine millimeter. So, um, but remember the scorpions came out and everybody stuck braces on them. Mm, I see. You remember? I, I hear you. See where you're going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, all these scorpions out there with all these braces on them, everybody was, remember all, all the competition shooting, everybody came out with scorpions. I had to have a scorpion. I almost bought one. I just didn't like the charging handles on it. And, uh, but. I think if, for a PCC, if you really wanted to, I mean, not for the game, but for like real life, shoot a, uh, a caliber with a four in it, a forty caliber PCC or a forty oh, no. caliber PCC. Oh That's, yes, that, that, I understand what you're talking about, the oomph. Yeah, but it, yeah, I'm not talking about going fast and trying to beat the next guy. I'm talking about putting asses in the dirt. Yeah, but if you're gonna do that, I might as well just get a, a vector and go with a, a forty-five. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. But even if you yeah. had that, um, the one you just mentioned, the Scorpion, Scorpion. And if it came when you said they all, all of them are uh, 45, I was mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, yeah, it makes sense. Right. Um, gun deals is a good page for you guys. I'm giving you guys a little game. Um, type in gun deals. I'm going to show you the page here real quick. And what happens with gun deals you guys, uh, see, this is for the people who didn't watch the show all the way. <laughs> so, gun deals. So, it's gun.deals with an S. And if you go there, it pulls up all the gun deals that's going on online right now. So, you can pull up guns. And there's in the red, there's top prices. It's also, you can search it by um, optics. You can search it by 
just pistols. You can search it by rifles. You can search it just by ammunition. So this is the ammunition I was talking about. It's 23, 23 rounds, of, uh, 23 cents uh, a round. The Sierra round. or the one over here? Where, who's that from? That's Scorpio. Oh, uh, what is yeah. that? I never, I never heard of Scorpio uh, ammunition before. Non corrosive, heavy metal primer, primer mix, Ugh. reloadable. Yeah, made in Czech Republic. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but if you didn't want that, and that's uh, that's five five six. Well, that's a good ammunition to, to practice um, slap rack with. <laughs> Here's some right here. CCI Independence. <laughs> this is this American made. So CCI Independence. Mm -hmm. And uh but uh it's this is twenty five cents a round. You know what I'm saying? So this would be to, a little that that used to be AR bullets, man. What's that? Twenty five cents a bullet. That was I know. AR. Nine, it was AR now. Nine million. Oh, you can't touch here's a look at the price here for AR uh look, no twenty forty two cents a bullet. And that's only this is 209 for 500 rounds. And uh, it was get another, a slingshot. It was another one up here. Let's see, where was it? I remember my buddy turned me on to steel case ammo, um, and I didn't get enough of it. So all my rifles mm -hmm. can shoot it. All my ARs oh, yeah. steel case. All my ARs can shoot steel case. I don't have a punk ass AR. And, yeah. and when he first, first, magazine they let me try i was like no malfunctions i went and bought some but that was only like 2018 i really didn't get a chance to buy enough of it with this <coughs> came along yeah yeah like oh my god I see. right see, and now when i look at that same i was i think it was brown bear was the one that we we were working with it's mm -hmm. the same price as brass mm -hmm. <laughs> why, would I, why would i buy this ammo there's no savings at all why would i buy this when i can buy brass ammo and have the same feeling because unlike you know you probably go there and you when you shoot you're done when i shoot man i'm looking at the floor going damn i got 10 buckets of uh <laughs> exactly 10, 10 buckets of brass here in the house so. right but you have a purpose of using the brass yeah. i pick up the brass just because i want to leave it there oh uh, okay <laughs> i'm not now, using it now um Let's see uh, what I was going to show. This Tavor, remember I was talking about this Tavor, fifteen hundred dollars. This here is a S. It's the same length as the SBR, twenty four inches. It's got a sixteen inch barrel that's deep in here. You know what I'm saying? Right. And uh, but the price on it used to be seventeen, now they're fifteen. I still, I still can't. Yeah, I'm not future futuristic enough and forward thinking enough to have the um, magazine to the rear. In the rear. Yeah. Yeah. Five six but, ammunition. What you call it? Four seven. But no, this no, is What's the name of the gun? Tavor. No, with this style. Oh, uh, bullpups. Yeah, bullpups. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the bullpups are probably the future, but I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, they I'm are not the future. Make it that far because and, this one has an 18 inch barrel. Remember that clown that was um, the leader of the black group? What's his name? Yeah, Scam uh, Master J. Yeah, that dude. He said he said he got <laughs> we a call AR. Scam Master. Scam, Scam, Scam Master. Master. Scam yeah. Master J, he yeah, said. Master. He said yeah, he master. had a uh, one of those, and it, but it was a, a basic AR. He said they call it, they it thumps so hard they call it a bull pup. <laughs> uh, it still makes me laugh, man. Oh, here you go, there you go. Seven point six two, but uh, it's thirty eight cents a round. See, wolf, That's ridiculous, bro. Yeah, That's thousand ridiculous. rounds is three hundred seventy nine dollars. No. Mm -hmm. Just make three seventy nine for a thousand out. round. Oh hell no! That's thank thank you, Mr. President. Yeah, that's because of him. He did that. Damn. You know, because he stopped all imports from coming in. Yep, import ammunition, and uh, but they also Damn. have extremes. Got to sell for your reloaders. So you guys can go get some ammunition. Uh, bullets fifty four dollars, free shipping. So. But type this page in. If a lot, a lot of you guys don't know about this page, type it in. And uh, yeah, and then when you after you type help. it in, send a message to the uh, administrator and tell them that we need a deal for helping out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tell them you found it on our page. That's you know right. What I'm saying? We yeah. sent you. 
Right. But that's what I use to find anything I need and uh, it helps me out and helps me find some fantastic prices. And uh, Al must be looking at the page right now. You see his eyes get big. <laughs> Dude, there's no way. I just bought a bipod that doesn't have a big name on it. UTG. It's not that bad. And I, I mean, UTG pro products I've used and Harris. good results. Harrison is the best. Harris. But this yeah, one is a Mo made by Magpul that I was looking at, and I was not spending. It's it's for a ten twenty two, so I'm, and I'm not. Oh, okay. I can barely yeah. shoot the thing. Yeah. Um, and I'm looking at this one that I did look at from uh, Magpul. They want a hundred bucks for it, and I was like, man, this thing. I don't. If I shot competitions with it or did something else with it, yeah. If I shot it more often, yeah. Anyway, I just saw it on this deal which you just sent this. For mm -hmm. fifty seven ninety nine. Oh boy, you got <laughs> I told you you gotta go to the page, people. You oh gotta my go to goodness. Page. Go to the page and save some money. Because of, that's yeah. crazy. And I, I don't know if it's some kind of I'm looking it up. I don't oh, know wow. if you can if you register on the site, I think you can you get emails. You, yeah, I'm not sure. All right, so this one's gonna make me feel better. You can subscribe to the newsletter. The, subscribe to the newsletter. The one that I wanted is actually mm -hmm. on back order, so it's fifty seven ninety nine. And mm -hmm. then the one that they have available is FDE. I probably would have bought that if I didn't get this other one. Just even though right. the gun has nothing to do with FDE, I would have mm -hmm. bought it just because it's fifty seven ninety nine. I'm glad I didn't see it. Mm. <laughs> right. Holy moly, that's crazy, man. Yeah. And yeah. it's from Brownells, so it's not even like it's something that you might think is sketchy. It, it's right. Brownells. When I was looking for my upper for my 34, I went to this site and I found mm -hmm. it on Brownells for that uh, 160 something dollars stripped out. Wow. Yeah. And then I just bought a parts kit, upper parts kit from Brownells too. Mm -hmm. And uh, then that was like 30 something bucks. And uh, there you go. Dude, whoever did whole... this came up with this idea is a genius. Yeah. There's Smart. one over here, the um, M&P 5.7. They're taking pre-orders for that Joker, and it's six forty-nine. The Ruger is in, I think, it's like hot, like six ninety-nine, and the HK, of course, is you, you probably already know that price. That's like fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really for six forty-nine pre-sale. Mm -hmm. mm, that's nice. Yeah, but I'm gonna get me a, a PSA uh, AK. That's my next purchase. Hopefully that should be my, my last, but I I've been buying these uh these daggers, so um, I'm falling in love with these things. You yeah. Know? I mean they make good training weapons for, for students and stuff, so you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Then I don't have to uh touch mine all the time. I hate when people touch my guns, to tell you the truth. But what they gonna do to it? Put the little grubby booger fingers on it. <laughs> yeah, but aren't you renting them out today? Oh, of course. Okay. Of so, course. Yeah. They're paying for it, you know. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, and they're glocks. So if they get damaged, I'll just take it in and have it repaired. But, you know, I don't know. I can let them shoot these, and uh, it's the same thing. Yeah. You know? They shoot pretty accurate, mm -hmm. you know. Or oh, you don't have a gas station to pull those into like you got the, a real glock. Pull yeah. It into the pit stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they can, they can, they can. I mean, it just gives them a different option. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So if they want to shoot that, they can shoot it, shoot it up. And and well, I need to do some torture tests on them too. So try to break them. So that's the next step. You know. Mm. But I think they they shoot pretty good. So for the prices, you can't go wrong. I mean, I mean, right now they're giving away a dagger with the. Um, um, with the can, uh, threaded with threaded barrel mm -hmm. and RMR cutout, and ten magazines with the case for three seventy nine or something like that. That's not a bad deal. Yeah. yeah, they're giving it giving it away again. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous what they're doing with these firearms. So, um, you can't beat them. Got to join them. You yeah. know, because one of these days those daggers prices are gonna go up. Remember, Glock was cheap. When it first came out, mm -hmm. now look at Glock. Glock's oh, at a high price. You saw that? Did you see that video? 
There's a guy going around talking about how cheap the Glock was, and it was mm -hmm. when it came out, it was the it was the high point of firearms, and mm -hmm. and then then his the guy that you know like the two of us, and he says, "All right, well, what do you carry?" He said, "A Glock." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember they had a lot of problems with the Glock ones mm -hmm. and Gen ones. Then the Gen twos came out to try to fix that, but they didn't really get it uh, taken care of until Gen three, you know, and. Uh, that's when they were a little bit better, but still, remember, they had problems with the triggers. The triggers was too tight. Mm -hmm. So then the Gen 4s came out, and they loosened up the triggers, and that's what everybody started carrying. The Gen 3s, uh, everybody started, a lot of police officers was carrying the Gen 2s and the Gen 3s. Then, But the uh, when the Gen 4s came out, everybody had to have Gen 4s. That was the best best one on the market, you know? And now the Gen 5s, this, it takes you a whole different place because they got the, the tricked out triggers already built into them and night sights. Right. You know? So you don't have to do nothing with the firearm except carry it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, locks are great. So that's why I figured out jumping on the daggers, get some daggers in, keep them in stock. And uh, so if the prices ever go up on them, I sell them twice for the price. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So take advantage of it. Because I see this one coming. This one here, I'm moving on. You know what I'm saying? Right. So pay attention, guys. And yeah. uh, go watch the show before this about the uh, vault gun range. And uh, it, like I said, it premiered at 830. It's on the page. Just go in to watch the videos and uh, uh, like this show. Share the show. Share subscribe. it. Subscribe. It will help. And the same thing on Rumble. Like, share, and subscribe. So we told you what YouTube is doing to us. Rumble is not. YouTube is being the devil, you know, and they're mm -hmm. trying to suppress this show. And they actually are suppressing this show. I'm not trying. They are suppressing it. And uh, they're taking they're our lights all away. gun content. Yeah. yeah. They're taking our views away. You know, we mm -hmm. would have had over 100 and some views on this sh our last show, and they dumped it down to 33. Right. And uh, we know what letting you're doing, be, YouTube. We see letting you. Letting it be known. Letting it be known. Yeah. All right. Well, sweet. So we'll see you guys next week. And uh guess we'll see you on the range. See you on the range, guys. All right.